guys. Thanks for joining us tonight. We are, um, I was looking through a um, design magazine and I saw something in the background that I thought was really cute. And I was wondering if there was a way that you could make it kind of on a budget, like a DIY, you know, make it yourself fairly cheap um, way. And so I went into the Dollar Tree and I picked up some of these flowers they have. There's a whole entire wall of uh, flowers that they that you can choose from, all different kinds. And I just picked, I just grabbed a few so we can see um, which ones work, <laughs> which ones we like. And then um, I have this wood sign here that's just been kind of hanging around and haven't really had anything to do with it. So I thought I could take um, what we're going to do with the flowers and then put it on here and some kind of design, I mean, maybe a heart, maybe like just a swirl across it, um, something. Mother's Day is coming up, so we thought what's something that we could do, a DIY fun project you could do with your mom or, you know, for your mom. And so um, we're going to give it a try tonight and see what happens. So I'm going to move the wood sign out of the way. And then these um, here are bowls of plaster of Paris. You can also get from the Dollar Tree or Lowe's or Walmart, uh, any, anywhere, basically. Um, and so I've measured out a half a cup each into each bowl. I want to do three different colors. So um, I have the bowls, like individual bowls, and I'm going to add a little bit of color into them. I, I'm going to use some chalk paint tonight because well, that's what I have handy and personally I like working with chalk paint. Uh, so we got a little bit of DIY paint and a little bit of Dixie Belle just for color sake. Um, so with the Plaster of Paris you want to do uh, two parts Plaster of Paris to one part of liquid, cold water. So I already have half a cup of the plaster of Paris out, and then I'm going to measure out a fourth a cup of uh, the cold water, and then I'm going to put a little bit of my colors that I want in and, mi and mix it up, and then we'll see what we got. We might need to do a little more water, a little more plaster of Paris. We'll see how it goes. And I have a, this is really a, a butter knife, but I like using it. It's a good, like, palette, mix, like a mixing tool. And I've used it to paint with, and it, it gives you a really cool texture compared to just a plain, small palette knife. So I'm going to put a little bit of a light pink in this one. Like I said, this one's a Dixie Belle color. So... Stir it up. I got a spoon. Let me see. It might work better to stir it with. And then, um, like I said earlier, I have these Dollar Tree flowers and I mixed, um, I have a wax paper laying here. So after I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the flowers and I'm going to dip it into my mixture here and, um, hopefully create that porcelain flower look that you see sometimes it's on top of they put them on top of like uh, canisters or uh, vases and um, they do all kinds of decorative stuff with it so we're going to see if, if this works so this one i'm going to do a light pink and then over here let me grab my paper towel Um, I'm going to go with like a white for my second color. I'm going to just scoop a little bit in there. The plaster of Paris itself is, is white, so I don't need a whole ton. And I don't want it to be like a real stark white. I am, like I said earlier, I, if you're just joining us, we're going to put it on a piece of 
wood, like a wood sign that we've had just kind of laying around. After we make these, we're going to put these flowers on the wood sign. So after I color them all with one color, I might decide I want to go in with a little, with a brush and put some, you know, shadows in the middle or uh, maybe you could put some glitter on the side if you wanted to like put some glitter on the tips or, you know, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes, what it looks like. And then my third color, I'm going to do a gray. I have a letter. It's called Letterpress Gray. It's a DIY brand of chalk paint. And I'm sure you could use acrylic just fine. I just like working with the, the chalk paint. And um, that's what I have closest to me. So I thought we'd go with that. It's a little darker. Just a little bit more there. This does, um, you do kind of have like a window of time to work with the plaster of Paris. So you don't want to like pre-mix like really a long time in advance. go with this gray. I am going to put it on a darker background uh, of the wood. So I just want a little bit of difference. I'm going to add a little bit more. All right. So now I'm going to go back to my pink and stir it up a little bit more. I think some of these down here on the end, I'm going to add a little bit more water just to make them a little bit more fluid and liquid. So I'm going to take um, one of my Dollar Tree flower bunches that I got, and I'm going to cut the, the stem um, maybe like right about here. Or not. Okay. Doesn't quite cut as easy as you thought? <laughs> nope. Well, those are bad scissors, so that would have been helpful. So I'm going to take the flower, and then I'm going to dip it down into what would be the plaster. And I did get colored flowers. Um, so that's going to show through a little bit, but that's okay, because I do intend on putting a little bit of hand um, painting touches on the top. I like to use my finger with just about everything I make. So um, I'm just going to kind of make sure that it spreads out some and gets, no, I don't want it too clumped up. It is a mess, but I do want most make sure most of this gets some pink paint on it and you can kind of just let it drip off shake it a little bit it does make a mess so don't do it like in a place you don't want um so here's kind of what it looks like after i pulled it out take a little closer to the camera can't is it too far you see <laughs> there we go I'm a little bit taller than she is, so I can see the camera above. <laughs> so, this is flattering. So, I'm going to go ahead and um, drop. I'm going to leave it over here on my. It's, it's going to make this flower kind of harden up a little bit. So, it's going to look kind of like one of your porcelain decorative flowers. And then after this dries, I'm going to go ahead and cut more of that stem off. And then we're going to glue and attach it onto our, um, like, wood sign that I have over there. There's a little bit more I want to do right there. So I'll set it over here to the side in my wax paper. And then whenever I go to lift it off the wax paper, it's not going to stick too much. So, um... Let me wipe my hands off here. Okay. And are you wanting to use the hair clip, maybe? 
I can, yeah, if you have clips or rubber bands, you can use it to hold, if, you know, if you get a flower that gets too heavy or too floppy or you want it to um, stay upright, you can do that also. Or you can hang them upside down. If you have some way of hanging them upside down, then they will naturally kind of fall into like the flower form. So um, let's get one of these other types of flowers cut. That was a little easier to cut. It's just a more basic small flower. And um, let's switch over here to a white. I'm going to just dip it in and get all of the, the sides. You can do the whole back if you want. You can just do the front. This has um, got some pink on it. This flower has some pink on it. So it is going to naturally kind of go with our, with our other flower when the pink starts kind of shining through it with this color that we pre-mixed here. And I'm going to kind of shake it and get some of the excess off. Some of the bigger flowers, I feel like they get heavy when you dip them in there, but they work a little bit better. The smaller flowers, it kind of just wants to, it's almost a little too heavy, but when it dries, it, it still looks good. If you guys have any questions, feel free to type them in in the bottom. Let us know where you're from, who you are, what you like. If you use a chalk paint brand, let us know. Yeah, if you've used chalk paint, what brand do you like to use? We like to use uh, Dixie Bell, uh, which comes out of Florida, and then we also like the DIY mm -hmm. paint. Yep, they have, they have a lot of different colors. Um, we, we like them. We like them all, really. All right, let's um, switch over and do a gray one now. Let's let's do one of these little red roses. Like I said, when I'm done, I just put them over here on my wax paper to dry. And it. it the box of the Plaster of Paris says it takes about six um, to ten minutes to be workable, to be paintable on top. I think it takes a little bit longer than that myself, but um, I guess it maybe it depends on where you're located, and how fast it sets up. Cheryl um, had asked, do you have a sample of what you are using these on? I don't have a completed um, sample of what we are doing, but um, I have a piece of wood I can show you. After we get done with them, we're going to arrange them on this like slat of wood in a maybe a heart design or um, like a swirl through the middle. We're going to paint the wood also. Um, so kind of just a trial and error at this point of how to work it. We we're just trying to come up with um, something fun for Mother's Day that people could do DIY either with with their mother or their daughters or you know or the kids. I don't maybe a man would like to do this. Um, I would do it. <laughs> or uh, something that you could do and, and give to your mother or just something you can do for yourself because we all mothers need spend time doing something for them, themselves. I colored the plaster with my chalk paint. Um, I have a Dixie Belle brand that I used and then a DIY brand that I use. You can just use regular acrylic or you can just use the plaster and go back and hand paint the um, the, the flower afterwards, you're, you'll just have like a plain white plastered flower to begin with. And then you can go in and hand paint all of the little, you know, spots that you want to get. I, I like the look of the 
the bottom of the flower coming through some. So I went ahead and colored my paint ahead of time. And then here's like a closer look. You can kind of see some of the original flower colors coming through. It kind of gives you a natural like shadow look down in there. I'm not going to cover every bit of this one up because I like that look and it goes with my gray and my pinks and my white. Um, and then I am going to color the board. I'll, I'll wait until I get done with all these flowers to decide like what I want my final board color to be. Do you have any more questions? So funny moment, Whitney, are you wearing your wedding ring on? I am. <laughs> well, I was sitting here watching the film, I was like, um, that looks very familiar. I am uh, Whitney's husband, by the way. I don't take <laughs> it off often. <laughs> no, that's good. I'm okay with that. It makes it through a lot. <laughs> So there's that, set it over here. And I did, before I went and did this, I added a little more paint, I mean water to this gray plaster because I felt like it was just a little too thick. I want some of my flowers to be really open. So when I set them over here on the um, wax paper to dry, they kind of naturally are just kind of falling into like a form. And I like that. I like the natural look that it like it wants to take on a, its own because that's kind of what the flowers do in real life. I don't want them all to look like even and, you know, cookie cutter the same. And yes, it does make your hands a mess. So make sure you have paper towels around. Let's try one of these big ones. One of these, I, I will go back and I will, like the whole thing's going to coat one color and I will definitely go back and put the, like, hand paint this um, center, like, a darker or, you know, different color. Because I feel like that needs to be something that stands out. All right. And if you want a brush on the, let's try that. Let me get a brush here. If you want to just brush on instead of dip that, you could do that also. Let's go with, let's go with a pink. This kind of gives it less of a covered effect. It just kind of gives it a lighter, a lighter effect. I kind of like it heavier, but that's actually a pretty good moment in general. You can see it pretty well. I don't want that, like, I don't want that green there, so I'm covering that up. Do you think, um, it looks like probably one coat's going to do it on that green, too. I don't know if you have to do a second. Yeah, I think one coat will be fine because I'm going to go back and paint, yeah. hand paint it darker anyway. Go ahead and leave this one just lightly texture paint, like plastered, I guess, is what you would call it. Let's see, do we have any more questions? No. So this is something where we are looking at putting on the calendar for um, in May for Mother's Day. If it's something that you would like to attend in the studio with a group of people, we would love for you to come Join us, bring your friends, bring your family, um, have a good, a good fun time. But if you can't, if you're not close or if you don't, uh, it doesn't fall into your time of availability, then we would love for you to post a picture, let us know, email, send us um, your masterpiece if you try this out. Like I said, you can do this and put these, we're going to put it on a wood board, but you can put it on um, canisters, you can put it on all kinds of different things. Canvas, we do a lot of, we do a lot of canvas 
in the um, in the studio. This is taking a little bit longer with the brush. But if you're more detailed, um, precise, then I have a feeling this would be the way that you would like to go. So there's our big flower. Like I said, I'm going to come back on this one and I'm going to do some hand painting, hand brushing once it's all dry. And the box does say that it only takes um, six to ten minutes to be workable. I don't find that to be enough time, but um, I guess I guess it it always changes. <laughs> go back to this like carnation I really like it let's see do we have any more questions if you haven't put uh, where you're from yet we would love to see um, where people are from if they're watching we're uh, living, we currently are in Florida, but we're originally from Oklahoma, so we always like to see kind of where everyone's from. Yeah, there's a lot of people here in Florida that came Hi. from somewhere else. So we love to always hear about you guys. All right, this is a fun project. I think kids would really enjoy doing this also um it's a good relaxing crafting you know experience for an adult that's had a stressful day and too many kids <laughs> or some an adult that just wants to do something fun and creative i'm just smashing it all down in there whenever i go to glue the flower on to my board i can like restructure it if I need to. Typically it's gonna wanna just dry, harden in a um, in kind of a natural state. All right. So here's a little bit closer look. Can you guys see that? So this is going to take a while to dry um, before I go put it on a board. I don't I'm going to paint my board first before I attach it to the board. So tonight I'm just going to work on plastering my, my flowers and getting them to harden and stiffen up. And then um, I will do a second live in the future um, of how to attach them to the board. Let me wash my hands. going to be a colorful piece of, um, is this the board you're going to use? Yes. Okay. I'll kind of bring the board in uh, while Whitney's kind of cleaning her hands. And so this is the board we kind of have, it's a little bit of an offset board. We kind of just cut some pieces of wood and we made the back side and just kind of glued with nails. This is roughly a 14 by 20 board. We got Melissa from Lakewood Ranch. <laughs> yeah, she's at Lakewood Ranch checking in. Yeah. We currently have a three-year-old who will not go to sleep either. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go in with a white and get like a white and a yellow. And then I think I might do another one of these yellows with the gray. Now 
I'm going to just dip it down in there. It's messy. It's a messy project. Our daughter currently has one of the flowers and she's sitting there playing with it and her finger is thinking that she's painting it. And she's also shaking the table a little bit. Come on, lean up on that table. So if it's too heavy, you got if you have too much on it or you feel like you have too much on it, just shake it off. But you want to do this in an area that you're okay with shaking it. <laughs> yeah, it's this one is a couple. Um, I left them, they're smaller, and I left them all attached to the same main stem because when I go to put them on my board, I'm going to make them more like a larger flower like that. You can see the yellow coming through. Hopefully you guys can see that through the, through the camera. It really looks um, really neat in real life. <laughs> All right. So we'll do one more. We're going to, we'll, let's do another gray one and then we will um, go ahead and pop off of here and um, then we'll come back and do the second part to this project, which will be painting the board and then actually attaching and arranging our plastered Dollar Tree flowers. All in all, this project, um, I used hardly any, any paint color. The flowers um, were a dollar each, and I, you, you, can, you don't have to get a ton of um, different options. And you maybe only use like what, maybe a couple dollars worth of the plaster of Paris? Oh yeah, the, I hardly any. There's, the entire box is still full basically. Yeah, I think we did like, we did what, half a cup for each? We used a cup and a half of right. plaster of Paris. And then three I would say this more. is definitely like, an under $20 project easy and like you can see I have a lot of plaster out here that I mean I'm gonna go ahead and coat all of my flowers but if I was just doing a few I would have a lot of leftover and you can get the plaster anywhere um, I saw it at the Dollar Tree one while I was there I am using the powdered one um, it's a big box it's a powder one where I mix my water in it instead of the um, pre-mixed one that's already like the putty that's already wet. I, I, mean, I guess you could probably get the putty and add a little bit of water and paint colors to it, but I'm using the, um, the dry one. And I feel like it goes further. You get a little bit more out of it for your money. So here's like a, a gray and yellow. I don't want that one to be perfect. Let's see. They'll just sit over here and dry and then um, and harden and then I will come back and attach them to the board. And make a wall decoration out of it. So upcoming video. Yep. That will be bringing in here pretty soon. Yeah. So thank you guys for joining us. Um, we will update you on when the second part to this video is going to be. And in that video, we will go ahead and um, do our background on our board and um, attach the flowers do the final like hand touch um, paintings to the flowers. Like I said, on the, on the big ones, I'm going to um, do some shadowing in the middle, in the center of the flower. So if you guys have questions, um, go ahead and type them in the, the comments and we'll be happy to go back and answer anything that, that we missed or that you think of after the fact. And if you guys um, 
want to join us and paint this for Mother's Day for yourself, just for the fun of it, then uh, let us know. And if you do want at home by yourself, let us know. Send us a picture of it, post it, comment, let us know what colors you would do. Um, yeah, so thanks. Thanks for joining us, and then we will um, see you guys soon.